Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be making a video about X-Bank stock. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys that's going on investor journey together. So today we're going to be making a video about X-Bank stock. X-Bank, a Chinese EV company, has been getting a lot of heat recently. We have seen a lot of Chinese EV companies getting a lot of heat recently, whether that be Neo, Li Auto, X-Bank, and even Tesla moving to China has started to get a lot, little bit more traction. Looking at the five-year chart, this thing IPO'd August 26th of 2020, so IPO'd this year, already up 87%. Same thing with the one-year chart, but we do see here that Xpeng actually did have a pretty good rally all the way up until about November 24th. Um, it was currently sitting at $72. Looking at the three-month chart, though, still looks pretty good, sitting up 120%, but the one-month chart only down 8%, which isn't too bad, and the one-week chart, it is up 3.54%. Xpeng has been getting a lot of heat recently, especially... You know, the Chinese EV game is really starting to evolve. It's really starting to rapidly move. But why I think Xpeng stock is actually going to explode and does have a lot of upward potential in the year of 2021 is because the Chinese EV market is really explosive. And it, there's honestly a lot of stuff going on under the scenes and over the scenes that, you know, is going to drive Xpeng to the next level. My overall stock prediction for Xpeng in the year of 2021 does have the potential to actually revisit the $75 mark, if not potentially hit $100. The reason I say this is because we've seen Xpeng's growth this year alone. We have seen their sales. They are continuously increasing. Their revenue estimates are getting better. And the company overall is selling more cars, really getting itself out there. Um, Xpeng currently has two cars. It's the P7, which is a sedan that looks pretty similar to uh, Tesla's Model S. And we also do have the G3, which is their SUV two beautiful cars and what i love about xpeng the most is the technology in their cars is actually super advanced if you've actually looked inside of them they're actually pretty cool seeing seeing the schematics and really the 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 features that they offer in their vehicles are really almost second to none in my opinion but i do think xpeng stock out of the three chinese ev companies is one of them with the most explosive potential that being said we did get a bunch of good news from xpeng stock recently xpeng has started selling cars in norway that that means xpeng stock and xpeng as a company is really trying to expand its borders outside of china xpeng doing this is absolutely mind-blowing and the fact that they're doing this they're really trying to grow is a huge catalyst for xpeng stock that i think a lot of people did kind of overlook xpeng being the first chinese ev company to start expanding its cars into other places really does show its merit but it's not just that that's going to really drive Xpeng, you know, to the next level. We've seen what analysts have said that Xpeng stock is going to be a top Chinese EV company, that it is going to be expanding really well. We've seen their delivery estimates and Xpeng, you know, year to date did very well in the year of 2020 when a lot of companies were struggling to kind of even stay alive. Xpeng's, like I said, their delivery on cars continues to increase. But it's just the overall market maturity that Xpeng just currently sits in. Xpeng, you know, really basically sitting in a very explosive market. We've seen the EV market evolve. We've seen it grow. We've seen it continuously expand. And the growth is not done just yet. Xpeng stock, along with the Chinese EV and EV companies in general, is going to be growing for a very long time. We have seen the statistics that said, you know, 20% of all car sales are going to be electric cars by 2025. And they expect that number to jump up to 50% by the year of 2035. So everyone is really looking towards EV expansion. A lot of big time investors behind Xpeng stock have even said, you know, that Xpeng stock is going to be a very valuable stock in a very valuable company. I do think people should pick up Xpeng stock, $43.25. It is absolutely worth the investment. Obviously, everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But I do think Xpeng does have what it takes to hit the $100 mark in 2021. It's explosive. It's a very in a very explosive market. Xpeng continues to grow, now selling cars in Norway, really expanding its brand all over. But it's not just that. We actually did get some recent news as of yesterday that Xpeng is actually signing a contract with a company called LiDAR. If you guys don't know what LiDAR actually does, their main focus is basically sensors for autonomous driving technology, which is absolutely amazing. And what that means for Xpeng stock, it means they're really trying to develop the self-driving driving technology. They're really trying to work on that self-driving chip, making autopilot, which is another big catalyst for the whole EV game in itself. Xpeng is trying to race to it. It's trying to get there. Now, there is a little bit speculation on LiDAR. Even Tesla, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said that even if the technology was given for free, he would not use it. But the fact that Xpeng is really going up to the next level, really trying to provide to its customers, really trying to, you know, beat to the race of the self-driving chip. 
It goes to show that Xpeng has a lot of merit and it goes to show that Xpeng is trying to be a top EV company. In my personal opinion, I think where Xpeng actually needs to start striving a little bit more is in their sales. Yes, their sales are increasing and it's absolutely amazing that we have seen their deliveries continuously increase over time. But out of all the Chinese EV companies, out of Neo, Li Auto, and Xpeng, all three themselves, Xpeng actually sells the least amount of cars compared to Li Auto being in second and Neo being first. I hope Xpeng can actually change that in the year of 2021. Like I said, I know Xpeng stock is going to have a great year in the tw in the year of 2021. As the coronavirus starts to die down, I know that sales for these types of cars are going to increase along with the increased demand of the overall EV market and the overall market maturity. I know Xpeng stock is only going to go up from here. No one can really tell where it's going to go, but I am almost positive that Xpeng stock is going to revisit the $75 mark and has the potential to hit $100. I think a lot of people are sleeping on these EV companies. Yes, a lot of Chinese EV companies have been getting a lot of heat recently, especially with the United States tension. United States passed the bill basically saying that if they don't abide by U.S. auditing guidelines, they do have the potential to be delisted from the NASDAQ, which did send the stock kind of downward. And a lot of people, you know, are kind of scared to invest in Xpeng stock because if they bought super high at $65 or $70, the stock was kind of on a continued decrease for a little while. But for me, I've said this time and time again, Xpeng is a long-term hold. The company needs to head towards profitability first. They need to work on selling more cars. But Xpeng stock is sure a good buy for the long-term haul. That's what investing is all about. It's about really capitalizing on what companies you think could be great in the next 5 to 10 years. When Tesla was first founded and first went public in 2010, Tesla was the same thing it did not trade very well and it didn't see a profitable quarter for 15 years so the fact that you know these chinese ev companies are doing their very best to head towards profitability you know people are going to always be bearish on the stock people were bearish on tesla too now look at it you know before if you're not counting the split tesla would be a $3,500 stock do i think xpeng has the potential to do that i'm not sure only the future can tell but I do know that this $43.25 price tag that we're looking at here is su super undervalued for a company that has the potential to be so much bigger. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of Xpeng stock. Do you think Xpeng stock is a buy at $43.25? What do you guys think about the contract that Xpeng stock signed with LiDAR? Do you think it's going to be game changing for Xpeng stock? If you guys own Xpeng stock, how many shares do you guys own and what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.